In today's Madden 21 quick tip, I'm going to show you the best way to cut back runs in the backfield in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, I just want to encourage you to go ahead and click subscribe. I upload four videos a day here on YouTube that are designed to help with some type of tangible tactic, concept, or tip that you can apply to your game, maybe in your playbook, maybe not in your playbook, that can, that can help you be more effective in this game. Also, uh, I also go live every single night. We'll be live tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here on my YouTube channel. So be sure to be um, subscribed so that way you can be notified uh, when we go live. All right, guys, so I wanted to talk about this because I have been getting, I don't know about you, but I've been having a lot of issues with cutbacks this year. Um, and I'm just going to show it to you out of a simple run out of gun split slot, the HP sweep. If you're running the two back, um, offense that I released in my Arizona Cardinals ebook. Um, you'll know that this is a little bit of an issue. If you haven't picked up the ebook yet, it's pretty good. Um, you can pick up my full competitive bundle. It's offense and defense it's in the description. 4-6 um, defensive playbook and the Arizona Cardinals offense playbook. This is actually out of the run heavy playbook, um, but we'll, we'll show you this real quick. So what happens with this run and what you used to be able to do is you used to be able to cut, but you see how he's kind of he kind of slowly cuts this year. You have this, this issue where basically if you're trying to cut like right to the middle, see how he takes that little gather step? That to me is a little bit of an issue. Um, and it's an issue all across the board, right? You want him to not take the gather step because you want it to not be so delayed. Or basically what we're trying to do is there's a big, you know, the defense is all spreading out and there's a big window of opportunity to come right down the middle. But because you're having to take the gather step, it's causing a little bit of an issue. Now, granted, if you can just run the ball out wide like this right here, you see that this is very good. Now, what I understand about Madden 21's run game this year is it is really um, hard, in my opinion, to cut against the grain. You really kind of want to let the play take you where it's going to take you. And then what you want to do is a simple tip that I talked about in the beginning of the year as this being the best move in Madden 21. It's still certainly the best move, but you can also use it in the backfield. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to double juke. You're going to double juke to cut back. When you do the double juke to cut back, that is going to make all the difference in the world. You see, I can double juke in. Now right there wouldn't be a good, wouldn't be a good example, but um, let me show you. You'll see over time here, there's that double juke, and then I just let my... Part of running this year is a little bit different. Running is still really, really effective in Madden 21. But if you can master this cut right there um, for Mark Ingram, you can then be able to really be effective, especially in your shotgun run game. Because this double juke right there, you see that right there? You see him? See, And I just want to cover this really quickly um, just because I think this is so incredibly important, um, especially if you're running the air raid offense that I talk about because most of the runs are out of shotgun. Watch what happens here. So I see right at this point that I have a choice. I can either go outside or I can go inside. Now, I probably should have gone outside, but watch the double juke. Instead of doing the cutback, I'm going to do that hard, put my foot in the ground, and then cut back, and now I'm following my momentum. Now, what I could do right there is I could double juke again into the lane that that, that has now become open. The double juke is the best way to change direction in this game. I don't care what anybody says. You'll find that... Um, trying to use the left joystick to cut like we could last year, you can do that some, as you see right there. You can do that some. But what I would rather you do is go with the play, then double juke out, and then come back around. You see that right there? See that little movement? See that little stick stick movement? I think that's such an incredible, important tip. Now, how do you double juke in Madden? Basically, all you do is you juke to the left and then quickly juke to the right or juke to the right and quickly juke to the left. It's one motion, one movement on the joystick, but literally you're just going to click, you're just going to juke left and right. Now, you only want to do this cut back. I'm just doing it against every single thing right now. But like right here, this would be a great example. Now I'm going to do it again, and you see that's a good solid six yards. Um, now again, if they're, if they're spread out, and they're taking away your sweep. You see how that double juke can really get you there? And we almost were able to get out there for six um, with this double juke. This double juke is very, very effective um, as a standard ball carry move, but it's also really effective as a cutback move. So if the cutback lane is there, I want to encourage you to try to double juke into the cutback lane. Don't just try to do that because if you do that right there, that gather step will get you tackled every single time. It's something they intentionally put into the game this year, in my opinion, to help with that. The way around it, 
is to use your jukes. So you can do a double juke. One other thing you can also do is you can literally just do a little hop gather step. The way you do that is by holding your left and right joysticks to the side that you want to go. So like if I want to juke to the left, I can hold them all left. If I want to juke to the right, I can hold both joysticks to the right. But to me, this is so, so important because right there, you see how it's going to take it from a three to five yard loss into a quick little gain. Um, you know, to me, that's so important. But literally just let the play kind of glide. You know, it's running as a little bit more of an art form um, to me. It's than it, than it was last year. It was a little bit more um, of a delicacy to it, especially with the outside runs. But if you get good at this, and let me show you what it, what it looks like from under center. If you get good at this, you'll be able to really run um, stretches really, really well because you're just going to glide with the run, and you'll see a lot of times the outside lane is going to be open and stretch. But when the outside lane is covered, you'll see – right there see that double juke that cut back and i literally juked out three or four people within that one little movement right there now if i want to come back all the way across watch this right there double juke it gets me around now you do want to be careful that the joysticks are really really sensitive sometimes you'll juke twice so you do want to be really really careful with this really really intentional with it but i think it just makes such it makes running the ball much much more effective um any way you run the ball. So like if I run a dive here, watch this, double juke, and I'm out to the left, and then I can do it again. And you, you see you see how that allows you to cut a lot better than it ever has um, in Madden, in my opinion. So if I want to cut to the right, watch this, I'm out. See what you can do with the jukes. When you string jukes together, it really can make your running game so much better. Essentially what you want to think about the juke of is the juke is going to allow you to really hard cut one way or the other, depending on which side you juke. And I like to string them together. I like to do one to two, maybe three double jukes within a running play because it's not just for one-on-one -on -one tackling animations. It allows you to steer your ball carrier where you want him to go. It doesn't always work, but it works really consistently for me. I wanted to share this uh, little concept. So like if you're running dive, just double juke right in here. You see how the, the defenders are going to completely the, – the steerable jukes this year are so good. Um, and you don't even have to have a good player to do it. I'm doing this with Mark Ingram. Like Mark Ingram's not exactly the most elusive running back of all time, right? But you could easily do this. So if you want to run like dive and you want to juke, you can do the same thing to the outside here. See, I'm going to double juke to the outside, and I almost was able to get around the edge. When I want a hard cut last year – you could hard cut pretty much on any run, and it would make it would be it wouldn't be a big deal. Here you see he takes that gather step. Him taking that gather step to me forces you to have to adjust. So that's where the double jukes really really come in handy. Um, and and, and in, assess, in essence, what you want to do is you want to really glide with the play this year, kind of go where the play is designed to go, and then double juke based on where you want to go. So if you want to go outside right you're going to double juke to the right. If you want to go outside left, you're going to double juke to the left. If you want to go, you know, back across, like if I want to go left, I can double juke right in there. So those those jukes really do help um, steer your running back in different directions. Like if they're if you if you think the if you think they've blown you up, try double juking out of it. A lot of times what you'll find is it will work. Um, it'll work fairly well actually. Right here double juke and then another maybe a steerable juke. You know, you string those jukes together, your running game is going to go to the next level. This is so effective this year. I'm telling you, um, you're going to be able to run stretch. Stretch is still probably the best run in Madden. I think HB Dive is really, really good this year. It's really hard to stop for two or three yards. You see, I can basically just walk forward. But what you can do is what you what you can easily do here, come through, then double juke out of it. And you see now he's oftentimes going to break tackles when you, do the, when you do that. But this is just a simple way. I wanted to put out a video because I wanted to talk about the idea of using these double jukes as cuts and you could easily do it. You see there, I'm running to the right. Like, it just it completely glitches out the defense. I'm running to the right. I'm gonna double juke to the right. And he's look, look at how much look at how much more real estate you have to run. I could have double juked right there. The double juke in the backfield really does help when you decide where you want to go. Double juke, you see the defense kind of glitches out. That time they block shed it on me. But when when you double juke, it forces the, the pursuit angles will change. 
Um, and it just, it really does make a big difference. The little double jukes here and there, I think are so effective. So I just wanted to share this video with you. Let me know what you thought about it. Also, if you haven't already, you can always text in um, my number. I'm going to put it up on the screen here for you right here. Top left of the corner of most of my videos. Um, it's 812-216-3644. Um, that's really going to help you. There you see, look at those double jukes just go to work and he's able to get in the end zone. So um, there's more on this coming. But I did want to share this. I might get a controller cam out here for you and show you exactly what I'm doing. Uh, that might be helpful as well. But I just want to encourage you guys, try the double juke out. Master the double juke. It's the best move in Man 21, and it's not even close. So I just wanted to talk a little bit more about how you can really use it, not just in the open field, but you can also use it in the backfield to start to kind of set up your blocks for you and to set up your cuts I think it's very, very effective, especially from shotgun runs. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you so much for your time. We've got a couple more videos coming for you on YouTube today. So make sure you're subscribed to that. Also, if you really want to take this to the next level, I want to encourage you right now to get a personalized coaching session. Personalized coaching session, in essence, is where we hop on a call. We, I basically record the whole thing, and we talk Madden. Anything you want to talk about, I help you get better at the game in any method, any um, specific thing that you want. We get one. Uh, we have 30 minutes available. We also have 60 minutes available. You can pick those up in the description. But so far, that has been one of the most impactful and helpful things, um, not only for my pe for the people that have got them, but I think it's been very helpful for me to know how to coach and how to develop people better. Better. So um, those are just those have just been awesome. So if you haven't picked up one of those, you can pick those up in the description. We'll see you guys in a bit.